Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be comparing a Toyota Tundra to a Nissan Titan. Now the Tundra has the TRD off-road package, and the Nissan Titan has the Pro 4X package, so this is off-roader versus off-roader. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out thank you to the Ken Garf Nissan here in Orem, Utah for giving me some time with the Titan, and then to the Brent Brown Toyota also here in Orem, Utah for giving me some time with the Tundra. I'll include a link to both their websites in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood of the Tundra, we have a twin-turbo 3.4-liter V6 that goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 22 on the highway with power outputs being 389 horsepower and then 479 pound-feet of torque. Now, powering the Titan is a naturally aspirated 5.6 liter V8 that goes through a 9 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 14 around town and then 20 on the highway with power outputs being 400 horsepower and then 413 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this comparison, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the Tundra, this is built off of the SR5 package. Again, it has the TRD off-road package. And so it's interesting, all the elements. First off, I love this red paint. I think it looks fantastic. We've got the new style of headlights. Notice it's got lots of chrome trim here on the grill. But then we've got the TRD logo there. We've got fog lights down below, parking sensors. No recovery points. Toyota still hasn't put those on the Tundra, funny enough. And then popping over to the Titan, the Pro 4X package darkens a lot of elements. And then obviously it adds orange elements like the recovery points. We do have skid plate protection under underneath with this package. Same thing with the TRD off-road for those of you that are wondering, but definitely has more of like a sporty look versus this is kind of sporty mixed with some luxury elements because of the chrome, I guess. But anyways, taking a few steps back, sorry about my shadow. Let me know which front end you like more. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see with the wheels completely blacked out with the TRD logo there. And yeah, they're somewhat all terrainy, right? And then you guys can see with the big fender flares. And then notice the badge there is actually blacked out, which is pretty cool. Now, this is the interesting part. So with the Tundra, independent front suspension, solid rear axle, and then we have a multi-link setup in the back for the suspension. Now with the Titan, our tire wheel setup is 275, 70, 18 in the front and over in the rear. So definitely more of a true off-roader setup. And then here's a quick look at the tread pattern there with the tires. Big chunky fender flares, I guess that's the thing. You can see the splash guard there, you got the side steps. And then taking a few steps back, independent front suspension, just like the Tundra, solid rear axle, but we have traditional leaf springs in the back end with the Titan. Now, take a look at the key fobs. Functionality on them is pretty similar. They both have remote start. The Toyota function is built into the lock function. Um, but notice the Toyota does have a tailgate drop down on the key fob, whereas the Nissan does not. Now, popping into the bed of the Titan, you guys can see we've got the cargo tie down hooks. Well, it's a slider system, basically, where you put the cargo tie down hooks. We do have an outlet here in the bed as well. Uh, protection from the factory, which is really nice. And this is a big bed. It's definitely a big bed. Even the tailgate has nice protection on it. And the tailgate itself, it's pretty easy to get up. And then this Tundra, it looks like this one has the composite bed, which is something that a lot of Toyota people love. And the SNC power outlet. And then we still have the sliders for cargo tie downs. So practicality is just as good. And then tailgates, I would say is actually a little bit heavier. And then finishing things up with the rear end, you guys can see Pro 4X there with the decal. And then I love the taillights here on the Titan. And then we do have a little bumper step that pops out right there, parking sensors. And again, sporty with the kind of theme. And then over with the Tundra here, you guys can see with the taillight design there and then TRD 4x4 off-road. And then notice we do have a bumper step just like the Titan. Now in the back of the Titan legroom's good. We also have a little storage pocket here. We've got some cup holders. We've got vents. We've got some charging ports, heated seats for the back. Cup holder armrest back here as well. And then look at the door panel, kind of with the trim. Got that cool stitching. And then you've got the cool little like kicker plate down below. Um, but anyways, headroom, it's also good. And I guess I should also show the seats here in the Titan so you guys can see the orange stitching perforated all down the center. Definitely have a luxury appearance. Now here's a quick look at the seat with the uh, Tundra because it still has like the plastic uh, wrapping on it. But yeah, cool design here with the seat. And then you guys can see with the door panel trim here. And then quickly pop in. Yeah, legroom's really good just like the Titan. Got some cup holders here, got some charging ports and everything. Looks like it does have a cup holder armrest. And then headroom, it's good. 
Now take a look at the steering wheel. You guys can see nice trim all around. And then with the Nissan logo, you got that orange. Lots of practical controls, including adaptive cruise control. And then go from that to the door panel. Again, soft touch. You can got the orange stitching because Pro 4X. And then on the side here for the light controls. And then you guys can see down below, we do have hill descent control. I get a rear locking differential as well. And then you've got this partially analog, partially digital gauge cluster here in the center with the Titan. And then for the camera system, it does have a 360 camera system, which is a nice feature. Uh, infotainment system is really easy to use, response time with the screen, as you can see, when you actually click things properly. It, it, it's good, you've got physical buttons down below as well. And then you guys can see we've got our dual zone climate controls. We have that for the stability control, parking sensors, you've got a bunch of safety tech, heated steering wheel buttons off to the side, which is interesting. And then we do have a two-speed transfer case. We also have heated and ventilated seats, which I'm gonna turn that off on both of those. Um, but then we also have trailer brake controls there and then some storage here. And I guess we get a free cup with this one. <laughs> Anyways, big center console, nice trim on the top of the center console and then power setting rear window. And then we do have a panoramic center. And as equipped, this Titan stickers for about 65K. Now inside of the Tundra, just like the Titan, it has a cool looking steering wheel, tons of practical controls, got adaptive cruise control, just like the Titan. And you guys can see the door panel here with the trim. Got blind spot honoring with the mirrors. Again, Titan has that too. And the heat steering wheel button in the Tundra is down here. They'll put the heat steering wheel buttons on any anywhere but the steering wheel itself. And then gauge cluster is more analog, I guess, than the Titan because you just have that tiny little screen there in the center. And then when it comes to the camera system, this one also, well, horrible glare because the sun, sorry about that. But this also has a 360 camera system. Just gotta trust me on that. Uh, and the screen itself with the view, sorry, you gotta get through this. Uh, it looks like it's it's a bit bigger than what you have in the Titan. So yeah, I like them both, but yeah, definitely a bigger screen here. Got dual zone climate just like the Titan, but notice only heated seats, no cooled seats with this. And then that's for the camera system. We do have a rear locking differential just like the Titan. We also have a two speed transfer case. And then we have on-road drive modes as well as off-road drive modes. You also have your hill descent control slash car control, tow haul mode. Cool looking shifter here. Good storage. You can see some cup holders and then more nice storage there. I like the center console design with this overall. And then this actually has a camera rear view mirror, interestingly enough. And then the whole window goes down in the back. No center fit all in this. And then as equipped, this Tundra stickers for $64,358. So there's only a $700 price difference roughly. Let's talk about visibility before we set off and then tighten. Here's your visibility of the hood and look at that nice stitching on the dash. Both mirrors do a blind spot ring, the rear thrust through and let us set off. So I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of uh, comments talking about how this is an apples to oranges comparison. And what I have decided that I'm gonna be doing moving forward is I'm not gonna compare like packages to like packages. I'm gonna compare like pricing to like pricing because I feel like that's more fair because I don't know about you guys, but that's what I use to determine what vehicle I'm gonna buy is based off of my budget, right? Not based off of, oh, this automaker says this package is worth this much versus this automaker says this package is worth this much. I go, my budget's this much and this fits within my budget, right? And so yeah, Toyota deciding to <laughs> charge, you know, again, Toyota's pricing is still more reasonable than any of the American automakers, but them deciding to charge quite a bit more than Nissan, it's, it's interesting. Um, and, and what I mean by that is this competes more with a Tundra Limited than, oh man, this is horrible driving. Um, then this competes with, uh, or sorry, this, yeah, this competes more with the Tundra Limited than the SR5. But the problem is a Tundra Limited with that TRD off-road package is over $70,000. So $5,000 more expensive roughly than this Titan here. So I feel like that's, yeah, that, I don't know. Let me know what you think on that. But uh, so far, uh, since I guess we can't move too much since the light's not there, I do like the Titan interior a bit more in terms of the material use. And, and yeah, it just has a more premium feel, which makes sense because this Pro 4X is kind of a more loaded up package. And then I do like the fact we have heated and cooled seats. Uh, and then the panoramic center. So yeah, feature-wise, this feels definitely more premium than the Tundra that we have uh, compared to this that's basically the same price and i do i do think i like the texturing on this too like the rough the rough texture on i don't know if this is real leather or not but the leather like trim if it's not real leather it's always hard to tell nowadays 
Good torque. Love the sound. Oh boy. You cannot go wrong with a naturally aspirated V8. It's just such a good powertrain when it comes to sound. And the performance is always great. And you know you can count on it. Always. Right? Simplicity is always best. So yeah, I figured you guys didn't want me to just sit in line for the whole driving. So this isn't the best test ever, but we'll get another acceleration here. <laughs> yeah, and the suspension's, it's good. They both have Bilstein shocks. They're both the same exact Bilstein shocks, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, the, the, it's the leaf springs that are the most different. And so to cap things off with the Titan driving, I think it drives well, I think it's got a great engine. I know that wasn't the best test drive on the planet, uh, but traffic kind of limits us. And I've driven the Titan tons of times. I even, I lived with one for a week uh, a couple years ago. So I'm very familiar with the Titan and specifically the Pro 4X. Love how it drives, definitely has more of an old school truck feel to it, but there's something that is charming about that. And then also like, you just, you feel like you can trust this truck because big naturally aspirated V8, more simplistic, and so, you know, like you get into it every morning, it's always going to start up. It's always, you know, it's, it's got that dependability to it. So yeah, I like that a lot. Let's go see how this compares to the Tundra when it comes to driving and all of that. Well, let's talk about visibility here on the Tundra. There's visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, the rest of the rear. I think visibility is relatively similar. It might be a little bit better in the Tundra just because of how the hood is shaped. But it's, I mean, it's all pickup trucks have pretty good visibility because you're so high up above everything. But yeah, first off, <laughs> much different, much different sound. Uh, can't talk apparently, but yeah, way different with the powertrain V6 versus a big burly V8. Um, and, and the seats, I feel like in both of them are pretty dang comfortable. There's no complaints there with that. And, you know, on uh, low speeds, so the V8's very responsive, right? It's with the throttle application. This, it's got, it's got really good low end torque. This is one of the better turbocharged V6s, I'd say, on the market. So I think that's good. Oh, we missed the lights. Okay, we'll get it next time. But yeah, it's, I mean, so far I, I think it, I think it performs pretty, pretty well. So we are finally able to get up and uh, move here with the Tundra for at least like two seconds. I mean, you do feel the torque difference hundred percent. Like you definitely can perceive that this has quite a bit more uh, torque on tap compared to the Titan. But with the horsepower being pretty much the same, and we got unlucky two times in a row, with the horsepower pretty much being the same, um, you know, there's, yeah, there, you're not really getting a, a difference there. So yeah, I know not the best, like probably, probably one of the worst driving comparisons I've ever done, but I just, yeah, it's the time of day. There's horrible traffic. I kind of picked a bad driving route too, to be honest. So yeah. I'll, I'll do better next time. But anyways, um, to cap things off, I think the Titan for, again, the same money has a nicer interior. I think that drives a little bit more old school. This does feel a little bit more modern. The modern can't talk apparently. Uh, the multi-link in the back end definitely keeps it planted, so it, it has that more planted uh, feel. So I think that's a big positive. And um, hmm. So in terms of a winner, I think the Titan. I think it's pretty obvious. The Titan's a better value, right? You're getting more truck for the same amount of money. Um, but I will say I do like the planted feel this has from the multi-link. But the Titan you get, well, the payload, the payloads are about the same, right? They're both in that 1,200-ish pound range. So you don't really necessarily get more payload with those leaf springs. But I mean, mm, still, I guess, I guess, um, I guess the other thing I'd like to say is that I trust the Titan more long term. Again, I know Toyota is known for reliability, but like you can't go wrong with a big notch aspirated V8. And so I feel like if you're going to keep the truck for a long time, the Titan's probably the route to go. If you're not, um, you know, the Tundra's got some cool things about it, but also still the Titan's a better value. So let me know which one you'd pick. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough choice, but I, I lean more towards the Titan with this comparison.